This week, we're back with Adam Lyons as we learn more of the mysteries of the female mind. We just solved that whole female. You'll understand them now. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Audible.com. Welcome to the only show that the Illuminati is afraid will take over the world. Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the street. Howdy, I'm your host, Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with one of the world's best dating coaches as we find out exactly what's going on through women's minds and how you can control them. I couldn't say that with a straight face. You can't control women. All right, so we're back again with Adam Lyons, and this, uh, of course, we have Zoe and Lindsay. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Adam is probably one of the world's foremost uh, dating coaches, and here's the thing that didn't occur to me. I always instantly think of dating coaches as being something that guys hire in order to be able to pick up girls, but uh, but both Zoe and Lindsay are single, and as Zoe put it, uh, single and ready to mingle. So I want to ask, like, do you ever get female clients, and, and what do you take them through? Yeah, actually, I, I get a lot of female clients. Um, the, the funny thing is, guys and girls have different problems, um, but there's just as many people out there that, that need the help. Um, you guys, typical problems is how do I approach and meet people, whereas girls, it's normally, I'm getting approached, but I don't really like the guys that are approaching me. How do I get the one that I want to approach me, and also once right, they that, approach it's me, it's not that I don't believe you, but is he right? No, is that, is that yeah, yeah, true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was actually a study that was done back in the 60s where this psychologist went to a shopping mall and analyzed the mating behavior of females for men. And actually, women almost always initiate the interaction, believe it or not. Men very rarely do. But the way women initiate it is with subtle clues and signals. So sometimes it's like, you know, a hair flick or a smile, but there's one that I love teaching to beginners, which is requesting help. And it's, guys love to be chivalrous. We love to, to be the hero that fixes things. Yeah. And there's this really great way. Basically, you know, if you're in a bar and you're trying to get to the front of the line, you're like, hey, I'm sorry, would you just mind ordering my drink I'll for me? Here's the money. Because okay. you know what's funny is when you said asking for help, I, was, I thought that. of like damsel in distress, like cliche, but like that's a, that's a good practical one. Yeah. Like, hey, that's would you mind helping me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Small things like that. Or, hey, could you mind just handing me that chair here? I'm just sitting here with my friends. Those small little things Coffee just, napkin. you got it. Yeah, yeah, it just, it gets the conversation open. Also, you are instantly going to be able to read their eyes, read their body language, whether they're smiling at you, did they accidentally touch when they hand over that chair? These are all key signs. This guy's already attracted to you and half the work's been done. This is all helpful for the one girl who's watching. Yeah. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you for watching. Uh, but but what are the things that, that the guys need to know or what do you guys wish that guys could hear that, that uh, from your side of the equation? I feel like sometimes like guys will be in a group and they're just scared. I feel like they're just as scared as we are yeah. to come and talk to someone. So I think a big one is don't try to over impress me. Like keep, like play it cool and like you know don't try and like you know spill all these facts about you about like how awesome your life is and how much you love to party and how much money you make and yeah. all that kind of stuff. I think that's one of the biggest turn offs is when you try and impress me. You off just said something that it's, this is this is why guys struggle and I mean this in the nicest way. You don't even you're not even aware you said it. You said, don't try and impress me, just play it cool. Most guys are gonna read that as, oh yeah, well you know, I'm Yeah, and cool. immediately right? trying and to they're impress gonna do you. Exactly <laughs> what you didn't want to do. I know that's not what you meant. It's brilliant, that's I brilliant. know what you meant, but this is what they hear, and this is why so many people struggle. Here's what I think you meant, and you know, and this is how everyone should start a conversation. By play it cool, they mean, and, you know, it's not be yourself, right. it's just start a regular conversation. Exactly. And, and the way I like to think about it is, the people who, who work in like uh, coffee shops or in the supermarket or what have you, they're people that you kind of see every day and unfortunately we don't treat them as people. And the very first lesson I teach everyone, guy and girl, is you have to start treating those people like people. Right. And then once they get used to that, so they're actually like, hey, how's your you day say, going? When you say treat somebody like, like people, like, find out their name. Yeah. Initiate physical contact, shake their hand. Yeah, exactly. You know? How's your day going? Are they working you too hard here? Yeah. yeah, exactly. And once someone gets used to saying that, they become really social and they're like, I'm talking to everybody all the time. And then I can say to him, I've got this baseline of reference. I'm like, from now on, everyone you meet, you will now treat like you like might that. be in a yeah, supermarket. Sure. And that's normal. You're not trying to impress that person, you're just talking to them. So, uh, one of the, th of course, on Scam School, we're all about the puzzles and tricks and ways to, to socially engineer your way ahead. All of a sudden, you discover you're really talking. What are some of the things you do to keep people engaged? Okay, so this is why I love Scam School. This is like all the different tricks and stuff that you're using the show. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna insert just a little bit here because this is Scam School, and I do wanna take it up to like just another notch. Right. If you are gonna ask for help, one of the best things that you can actually say is to utilize a psychological principle known as pre-selection. Okay. It's the concept that if, somebody of the opposite sex is attracted to, others will become attracted to. The best thing you can ask for help with is, hey, excuse me, this creepy guy over here won't leave me alone. 
could you just talk to me for a minute just so he goes away? Oh, is that for women or men? Oh, it works both ways. Oh my God, I guess so. <laughs> now, nowadays, you're like, oh, I'm sorry, this guy keeps hitting on me. Right. Can I just talk to you so this guy's not hitting on me? Yeah, exactly. I've definitely done that before. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's a saying. really good way of starting a conversation. And the best bit is if you want to be really scammy about it, you can start by asking somebody that you're not really interested in a question. When they start giving you the answer, it will look like they're just hitting on you. Oh, that's interesting. That's dark. And that's really easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it works really well. If you're really good, you'll actually approach one of the hottest people in the bar and say that to them. Yeah. And it'll look like the really hot one's hitting on you. And then you can be like, wait a minute, I just want to talk to this person. Hey, help me out. This person won't leave me alone. God. And they see this really attractive person hitting on you and won't leave you alone. And it makes them reevaluate how you look and how beautiful you wow, are. Wow, that's uh, tricky. That's a bit uh, scam school. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, you could use that, right? If it's you think like, about it. Like, yeah. I don't know if I'm not good, though. I don't know if I would have the straight face. You've got to start somewhere. <laughs> All right. So well, let's do this. Uh, yeah, you've got a few routines that we want to try, but first we got to thank our sponsors. Here, let's go and do this. Uh, let's do this. Do, do, do. Look, man, I'm a busy guy. I don't have time to sit down and use my stupid eyes to translate symbols into words, but I insist on hearing all the greatest stories. For about three years, I hired a large German woman to just walk behind me and read books to me all the time. It didn't work out so well. And then I discovered Audible. How great is Audible? Audible is all the world's greatest books read by the world's greatest narrators. In fact, I'm gonna do you a solid and give you one book absolutely free. I want you to check out Ready Player One, written by my buddy Ernest Klein. It's narrated by Will Wheaton, and he does get the voices right, and he doesn't have that same accent. And he's male, which is good, because all the characters are male. Listen, man, Audible's the greatest thing that happened in my life. I never sit down and read stupid books with their stupid pages and their stupid smells. Instead, I have 13 different stories every year read into my ear faces, and you can too if you go to audiblepodcast.com slash scam school. You will get a free 30-day trial. Listen to any book you want, and if you want to, say Baxi's. Thanks for the free book, suckers. Scam school. All right. So you're there, you've connected, you found some kind of excuse to be talking to someone, you've pre-selected, you've determined that, okay, I don't instantly hate what this person's all about, uh, I, I want to do something interesting, but I don't know what to say. This is when you kind of have a few backup, like, uh, just things to try, right? Yeah, and this is, so what these are, these are entertaining games that you can play that ideally make the other person think and it diverts the conversation stress away from you. So what we're going to do is, this one's a fun one, so this is, um, we're going to play a pattern with the, with the cups on the table, because why not? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to form a pattern out of all of our glasses here. And this pattern... We're like, yes, for those of you watching at home, I have two beers. So yes. shut up. And, um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do here is uh, each pattern is going to be associated with a number. And your goal is to identify what the pattern is. Okay. So, for example, this is three. Uh, all right. Five. That's two. Oh. <laughs> this one is four. One. Right, I think it's all crystal clear. Right, you got it? Uh, so, <laughs> and, and what's this one? Three. This is three. I totally know what's going on. What, right what's <laughs> this one? Oh, do you know, do you know this? It's still three. But this one is five. See, now that's just confusing. <laughs> yeah, I thought I had it for a second, but now Me I too. How about this one? It's six. Okay. That was six? I feel like we're just playing a yeah. game. Um, five, how, about, how about we do it this way? You move them, and I'll tell you what the pattern is. So there is a pattern? Okay. There is totally a pattern. I don't need to touch them. That's two. Okay. Oh, this one is five. Okay. What? Oh, yeah. Is it? All right, just answer me this, Adam. <laughs> uh, should our eyes be here or not here? So, <laughs> sometimes there are things quicker than the eye. Go ahead. <laughs> should I be looking at you or at the glasses? Um, you okay with me revealing? Yes, I do the yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. So, it's the words I'm using. So, for example, this is three. That's two. Wow! This one is four. So as long as you are playing by the same rules, you could suddenly be right by saying like, that's two. And I'm there like, is yes. three. <laughs> I oh. see four of, five so of them. So could I say, what is this? And you would say, this no, 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 four? see, you, uh, that, that, you have to you're end asking up. the question. Oh, okay. That's you would have to, you would say, you, you would say like, for example, I think this is five. And we'd be like, and yes. Then, and you'd be like, it is. 
fun trick, if you get stuck doing it, I actually count on my fingers. I stick it under my leg. I saw and I you. Tap them. You're, okay, yeah. that's why I was thinking the fingers thing. And that's why I keep yeah, tracking the words. I knew how to do it. Well, I, I do that because it lets me get really big numbers, so I can get up to like 14, and I'll just be like, man, and you're like, you're like doing binary digits yeah, on exactly. the other. just keep going, and they're like, I have no, idea. well, you know, this one is obviously. All right, now this is something, seven. this is more of something we would call a tweener in scam school. We always talk about there's openers, tweeners, and closers. Openers are the visual things that make people say, you know, show me that again. Tweeners are stuff that, that requires, you know, this is designed to string them along a little bit, and maybe frustrate them to the point where you let them in on the game. Uh, what are some of the other ones that you guys do? So uh, actually, for the next one, we need pen and paper. So with the the magic of TV, Watch this. let's I'll just make... you transition, and just like that, we suddenly have paper and pen. Ta-da! It's amazing. Take it away, sir. So um, in this puzzle, the goal is really simple. You have to write this number with one thousand without taking a pen off the paper. Good luck with that. And so that's like what we're doing, but you just wrote it without taking. Oh no, oh, no, he didn't show you how to do it. I that's took not my for you off. guys to figure out. Um, can there be, does there have to be like gaps or something? Yes. It has to look pretty much like that, give or take. As close to that as you can get. Can we work together? <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, yeah they're like, I'm totally. Uh... Here we go, you okay. got this. Okay. Teamwork, I like it. Wait. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> you got 10. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> almost. Oh, That's almost. Wait, so you go and I'll just keep my pen on the paper and then oh. you write it. <laughs> they do you, it say I, I, I will pen. say said a pen. I will say that you could do it with just one pen and just one person. You don't it, it doesn't need it doesn't need to be a teamwork it's thing. Possible. Correct. Yeah, it is yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. This one's a classic. I love this one. Do you know there's two solutions for it? Right? Uh really? Yeah. Just what? fun fact. Alright, I'll show you the one I know. You can show me yeah. the other one. Okay, I feel like there's a rule that I'm missing. All right, all right. No, there's no other rule. You, you, you want to be let off the hook? Here we Possibly. go. Possibly. Wow, has anyone ever figured that out? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone somewhere obviously someone had. So, so the alternate one, I actually got taught by like a six-year-old kid. No way. Who, who just came up with this? And I was like, it's genius. And what they did was, they drew the line. Oh crap! Well, you never That's... said that. That's amazing. Just kind of right? Funny. It's just an alternate way of well, doing it. That six-year-old is really smart. Your pen was, because was the God, I feel like a six-year-old smarter than me now. <laughs> yeah, it's like, Son of a bitch. He, and, and it just got it. It was just oh yeah, it's obvious. Just keep the pen on the paper, okay? All, All right, right, dude. All right, one more. Do one more. One more. <laughs> okay. So um, the last one, actually, Brian probably a lot better at it than I am. But what I'm going to attempt to do is use a very small amount of hypnosis on you. Okay. So, but you're safe. I'm not going to turn you or make you act like a chicken or anything. We I'm only going to hypnotize. Yeah, wow. <laughs> See, that, that's <laughs> she's totally right. Like, I don't know, bring a hypnotizer. Well, I'm only going to hypnotize your fingers. That's it. So the rest of you is completely under your control. I'm just cool. going to control your fingers. Okay. okay? Ready. So what I'm going to get you guys to do is to place your hands like this and link the fingers. Um, and then if you could just bring your arms forward here and then try and keep the wrists together if you can. Just really size up. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little bit of psychic glue. So we just go, do that and there we go. So you don't realize this, is science, this now. by the way. I got it. That's official. Um, yeah, so your, <laughs> That's official. your brain, it's in the science your brain is already hypnotizing to believe that was real glue. And what I'm going to get you guys to do is in a second, I'm going to ask you to open your fingers and hold them out like this, uh, keeping your hands firmly closed. And then when I snap my fingers, just like this. So that's when I snap my fingers, just like that. That's like repeating. Say, say, yeah, um, no, uh, yeah. that's, that's legit hypnosis right there. You just keep when, saying it. When I do that, you'll find that your fingers feel this pull to close. And you'll literally feel that pull as it slowly closes them. And don't, don't resist it, just to let it happen and you guys will see what happens. So, um, if you can both pull your fingers out like this and bam, you should feel them oh my God. like that. <laughs> Crazy, right? Like I said, the rest of you is totally fine, but your fingers are hypnotized. I'm gonna own those forever, by the way. You don't get those back. There's like a rule in hypnosis. I have to like, you know, release the rest of you. But fingers, apparently, it's a. Uh, is that crazy? Is that amazing? And as I understand it, this is a very well-known psychological principle. In fact, a number of people have told me that they've done this experiment in their psychology classes. Yeah, well, actually, um, this is the first time I learned it was in psychology. No kidding. Um, yeah, straight yeah, up, yeah, yeah, in right, a psychology yeah. class. And so, essentially, what it is is your fingers just want to move back together because of the tendons on the inside. It's it's uh, uncomfortable to hold them apart. Like, yeah, well, it, 
it. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll do, do, do it again right now. Just hold it, hold it and do it, and it's uncomfortable to hold them apart. Right. And so you kind of yeah. want to put them together. It happens much faster. But, but what he did was he set up an expectation. Right. So the moment you felt that feedback, because mm -hmm. this is not something you normally do, you felt right. that feedback and you, you attributed it to the crazy nonsense exactly. that he said. So the good news is, is there's 300 freaking tricks waiting for you at scamschool.tv. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Huzzah! Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Huge, huge, huge thanks to Adam Lyons for slumming with us. This guy really is one of the best in the business at what he does, and his insights are valuable. So head on over to his YouTube channel, AFC Adam London. That's not his last name. It's AFC Adam and then where he's from, because I'm, I'm BRI Brian Austin. That's not true. By the way, I want to hear about all your success stories and failure stories. Tell me if you got epically shut down trying one of these at the bar. Put it right down in the comments down below. I read all of that stuff, and you and I should be BFF. So be my friend on Facebook. Go to fb.com slash schwood, and let's start hanging out. And of course, if you want to suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brian at schwood.com. Now, you're not going to want to miss next week, because we are going to learn how to open a pocket universe using nothing but dark wizardry and a moon rock. It's child's play. How easy is that? I totally remembered my favorite thing of all to do. What? Which is this one. So you put your hands out like this. Yep. Lock them over. Really Pull it through. Right. So that's okay. And then move that from there. Wrong one. <laughs> Love that trick. That's my favorite. Good.